Yo, yo, what's up? I am playing International Master, Roman Yanovsky, whoever that is. I decided to play the English on a whim. Just because, whatever. Uh, his rating is 2346. Alright, when I go B6, I go B3, because screw them. I'm, just, I don't know why I do that, but I do. <laughs> I don't like it when they go B6. It bothers me. I'm just going to set up like a hedgehog here. Like on C3 or D2 is the big question. I'm going to put it on C3 so I can swing my other knight to D2 if needed. Seems natural. Uh, Queen C2 looks good. Rook F to E1 seems logical for... Oh, wow. Hmm. Take, knight take. take th I'm just going to take it a bunch of times, man. If knight takes bishop d3 any good? It's interesting, but probably not so good. I'm just going to take and go queen c3. And if only that bishop wasn't there, I would checkmate him next move. What's up, kitty kitty hiss hiss? We got over 40, stream, 40 people watching, so that's not bad. Um, probably just develop a rook now, right? Like rook to rook to d1, and I like the fact that I have this queen and rook on this. Uh, sorry, queen and bishop on this diagonal. Maybe rook d4 next move. Well, huh? Move looks weird to me. I can go knight e5, but he can take with the rook. Knight g5? If queen d4, what, queen f5 or something? Oh boy. Knight g5. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna make this little creepy move. No, that's horrible. Knight takes b3. Jesus, Greg, slow the hell down! This move, bishop g6, I don't see my plan of knight g5. When in doubt, go h3. Oh man, I'm getting tired again. It always happens while streaming. Somehow chess is requires more mental facilities than more mental faculties than most things I do. And so I start to realize my fatigue when I'm playing. Whereas doing other things in life, I just don't notice it somehow. I wonder if my hearthstone will work during the stream. Stone King says, LOL, all that thinking for H3. What am I gonna do, man? Ah. <laughs> uh, He wants to go a4, and after b4, I kind of trap my... Put me in an awkward position. I'm going to go knight to d2, passive play, but I'm worried about this a4 move. Jug handle 10. My normal sleep schedule is... It depends, man. The league is messing me up, because I have to stay up late to, to run these games. Bishop g4 any good, or no? I'm just going to do this. If A4, I'm, I'm cool with going B4. And it, okay. Uh, that's a weird move. Just because the knight comes to D4 with tempo. So I'm just a little surprised he let me do that. I'll stick this knight here, man. Looks nice. Like a nice place for the knight. C6, I take on D6. The bishop on F8 is overworked. That's useful. That is, his thing is going away. Maybe rook to D5? Where's he going from there? 
Oh no, the knight's now defending. It's defending uh, the key square on g7. Let's just get my other rook into the game. All right, queen c2. Must not let bishop f6 come. I feel like I could have missed a tactic there. All right, let's put the other rook here. Oh, he wants to go. Wants to go bishop to f6. I should stop that somehow. I should do this. So if he goes bishop f6, I can at least double his pawns. I'm not saying it's so good, but at least I get his pawns double. Wow. What a move. Uh, okay. I can't resist playing that move. Or I give up. It's going to go bishop g7 and trade things off. But then, watch what I do here. My plan is to get my knight to that weak uh, f6 square now. So once we trade those bishops, the f6 square becomes weak. That is my big master plan. Meanwhile, my b3 square is weak, but I'm hoping it's not a super big deal. I'm going to stick this here, see what he does about it. If c6, I can simply take on d8 and win a pawn. Or an exchange. A c6 is horrible for like 8 million reasons. He's in trouble, man. He's in trouble. Uh, I win the exchange. I'll take it. Knight f6 or knight e7, depending on what he captures with. I'm doing that so that... Oh, that might be a bad move. Because now he has rook 8 right, He found it. Uh, whatever. Defense. So my rooks are a little tied down now, which is annoying. My plan is to bring my king over to b3 and then slowly consolidate. Uh, and also to move very quickly. Oh, wow. What, what a move. Whatever, though. Defense. I'm going to bring the king to c3. And then, you know, my pawn's defending, defended, so I can use my rooks a little bit here. So now I gotta figure out what to do. Probably c5. Mm. Let's do this again. God knows what reason. That looks good. Rook king d6, rook d2. Whoa. Back up, homie. Alright, things are looking good for the, the good guys here. So knight b4, I'm pretty sure I can take on c5, I can take on h, I can take a lot of things basically. Uh, let's just do this. Threatening rook d6. Stopping knight d5. He's in trouble. Oh wow, that's a passive move. King b5 is a threat, I think. What are you going to do? I'm going to win all your pieces. Checkmate. Checkmate. Next move. Rook takes e7. Yay, I win. Uh, somebody watching says, was knight takes c7 a tactic move 23-ish? I don't think so, but let's see. One moment. Roman Yankovsky is this guy's name. Just entering the results in my database. So, instead of knight c2, they're saying this. My queen takes, though. The knight's still defending uh, the g7 square. 
Anyway, thanks everyone for watching on YouTube. See you next time. Bye-bye.